And yeah, uh, as a youth pastor, I'm so privileged to be able to do these sort of things and take our young people away. You might think going away into a field to camp for a week, get no sleep, you might think, why on earth would you do that? But then when you, you're there and you see how our young people connect with God, how they connect with each other, you then, that is the reason why we do these things. So as we wrap up, I just want to share a little bit about what went on and how we're going to carry on. So this morning you had a glimpse of the exciting things that happened this year, how God moved through the lives of our youth and through the lives of our team. And some of the stories you've heard are just the tip of the iceberg of what happened there. Many made commitments or re-commitments to follow Jesus and lots took the stand to say, yes, I want to be a leader within the church. I want to take ground in this community in order to make Jesus known. And we also saw healings within our youth group. But you might be sitting here thinking, well, good for them. I'm glad they had a fantastic time, but that doesn't affect me. I'm either too old, too young, or too whatever to come to DTI. On a side note, you're not too old to come to DTI. As we've already said, we are more than, well, more than happy for you to come and join us on team. Come and have a chat with me or Edward afterwards, and we can explain what that can involve. But, or maybe you went to DTI and you said, yeah, it was amazing being at DTI, but we're back now. And it's a whole year until we get to set foot at DTI again. But the good news is, as Ben said on the final night, being here at DTI is amazing, but it's not the main event. It is the preparation time. Now is the time when the real work begins. And it's where we all get to live our life and choose to stand firm to God's truth, whether we went to DTI or not. This is where you guys all get to chip in. I'm going to say we can all choose to, and I want you to, as loudly as you can, shout, stand firm in reply. <laughs> okay, we'll, we'll, we'll do a practice. Okay, we can all choose to. Stand firm. Good, okay. So, we can all choose to. Stand firm. On making God's priorities our priorities. We can all choose to. Stand firm. To our prayer life and reading our Bibles. We can all choose to. Stand firm. To worship with all we have. We can all choose to. Stand to get involved and serve. We can all choose to. Stand firm. To our expectation that God will move. But standing firm isn't something that we're meant to do on our own. It isn't even something that we're meant to do between just us and God. We are called to stand firm as a community, supporting each other as we go. In Hebrews, we see a call to persevere in faith, aka stand firm. We see this encouragement in chapter 10, verses 24 and 25. It says this, and let us consider how we may spur one another on towards love and good deeds, not giving up on meeting together as some are in the habit of doing, but encourage one another and all the more as we see the day approaching that day being when Jesus returns. Here we see that community is meant to be a team effort. We all get to play our part and we all benefit when we do. So within Versa Youth, we want to build on our strong positive relationships. And over the coming year, we're gonna be making a few changes in order to make that happen. Firstly, we recognize that relationships require continuity. So our awesome youth team has grown, with some of our existing team stepping up to the call to do even more, and new team coming to join the fold. And this will allow us to have the same youth team alongside the same youth each week that we run our standard program. We also have a dedicated team that will be coming alongside our youth on our second Sundays when we create opportunities to challenge ourselves and do something different. And of course, this is in addition to our other team members who make our midweek and special events and mentoring happen. So if you are on our existing youth team or are joining our youth team, can I just invite you to stand and give us a wave? So these guys are all amazing. We are gonna be praying for you guys in just a moment. But if you can just take a seat again for the moment. We will also be intentional with creating opportunities to create relationships, 
with each other within our tribes, which is our age groups, but also making space to hear from God and making opportunities for you to be able to serve. So in wrapping up, in order for us to stand firm, we need to get close. By get close, I mean come close to God through spending time with him, opening his word, and being open to him guiding us. We can also choose to be close to our friends within the church, make gathering together at church our priority, even when the footy's on or you've been invited to something else. Maybe even arriving early to church to bag the front row, just like we did at DTI. Step two, get sweaty. (laughs) Not only literally, but getting stuck in. So do the stuff that we're called to. Dance like no one's watching in worship. Pray for the sick. Invite your friends along and help out and serve wherever you can across the church. You're not too old or too young to play a part in God's church. And finally, get expectant. Approach God knowing not only that he has the power to do the miraculous, but knowing that we've seen him do it and we know that he will do it again. And of course, we'd love to see you at DTI either for the first time or again in 2025. We've opened bookings today and you should have all had a flyer on your seat. And if you scan that QR code, you can either book on as a youth. If you book on today, you can book on with just a £50 deposit or you can book on to show an interest to be on team. And if all of that hasn't been enough, if you book on in the next 10 days, we will also include a ticket to our DTI road trip that's gonna be taking place here in February. So I hope you're excited, and I hope you're all ready to stand firm. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna enter a time of of ministry. So can I invite all of the youth who are here to come up the front?